Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our second day together. It feels so good to be back in person after such a long break, right? Yes. Yay. I want to welcome all of our friends at home that are watching. Everyone watching from home, we're missing you, but we're glad you're joining us online. And we're so, we're loving all your questions, so please keep them coming today for all the speakers. Um, yesterday was amazing. From the beginning of starting in this room, and then the ending with our amazing dinner, um, having, don't you all agree that the food was great and the day was wonderful yesterday? I'm sure you have <laughs> your favorite moments. It was just, just the chance to enjoy being together, finally together again, was, is great. I've been trying to narrow down my favorite part of yesterday, and it's so hard. There's so many moments from seeing all of, all of our faces light up as we see each other after being apart for so long, and the millions of smiles that I witnessed, the hugs all day long to the butterfly release, which I'll hold my tears, to Wacky Wally at the end of the night, making, butter, making uh, animals. <laughs> our LGS community was built on our connections. The love, the support, and the care we have for each other is so wonderful because it's from that love, support, and connection that we have that we can draw the strength we need to continue along the journey. We need each other. So that strength gets us through every moment that we have to face, no matter how difficult or how happy we share in it together. So as I was thinking about what my favorite moment was, I was so touched yesterday by, my tears started early in the day, by the way. Um, I was, saw the LGS Life poster that came up from a small group of our parents got together with one of our partners and talked all about how LGS affects their life um, how it makes them feel, and sometimes our journeys are so misunderstood. Um, so it's, it's so important to have great partners that care deeply enough to listen and that are striving to support us every step of the way and make a difference in our lives. Couldn't do it without them. So you, if you want to take a moment and check out the poster, it's at the Takeda booth. Uh, the tears started there, I'll just warn you. <laughs> So if you want a little cry this afternoon, go there. Um, and I'm so happy to see all of you in your gray shirts uh, because at the end of this session, we are going to ask everybody to come up here before we break for lunch and so we can get a group picture. There'll be more pictures tonight at the dinner dance, but we want to get one of all the attendees today before people you know, start leaving or off to other sessions. So, and if you forgot your shirt, you have a moment at break to go back and get it. Um, sorry. So just come up here at the stage after. We have a great lineup today. There's more great talks from our world experts on LGS. And we're loving all your questions in the audience as well, so please keep them coming. Today, the focus will be on LGS-associated disorders like sleep or the lack thereof and behaviors. So this afternoon, we're going to hear all about the latest news and updates on available treatments and exciting new developments in research. If you haven't seen, we have an awesome exhibit hall, so be sure to spend time meeting all of our exhibitors that are supporting us. And I just want to give everybody an update on the SIB camp. The SIBs are having a great time, I'm told, and I'm happy to report that they made it out of the escape room yesterday, so we didn't lose any kids. <laughs> Um, they have more fun today on tap, including Build-A-Bear. So our sibs are going to have some private time building their own bears, having a little ceremony, and then after, when lunch comes, you are able to go ahead and head on over to the Build-A-Bear room, and we want every parent of an LGS child kiddo to go in there and make a bear so that you can take home. So the other, just keep the connections going. We have table topics in the breakfast area and the lunch area. Those will continue. Um, and then I also want to mention our virtual meetups so that, because the conversations need to continue after our meeting here. We have the virtual meetups right now, the de-stress group. There is an adult group for anybody that's moving into the adult world. And also we have a dad's, a, dad, a wonderful dad's group that's growing. And, Where's Fred? 
if you haven't met Fred already, Fred, can you stand up? Fred, Fred does a great job at keeping you all informed when the meetings are and bringing them all together and keeping the conversation going. So he has a monthly virtual uh, group that we would love to have all the dads. So anybody who's interested in that, please see Fred. Uh, and I have a, uh, I guess today the winner, I get to announce the winner. Um, if you have a blue sticker, where's my blue stickers? Okay, go out to the LGS information booth and collect your prize, because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Amber will help, uh, help you get your prize. So, and I just wanted to say one more thing. I just wanted to thank all the hardworking volunteers. This, this year, we've organized our volunteers, and they have been amazing, and they are working their butts off to make this all happen. <laughs> Seriously, thank you to all the volunteers. We couldn't do it without you. Um, and we're so excited to get day two going, and I'm going to turn it back over to Tracy to kick our day off with more information about your LGS Foundation. Have a great day, everybody. So what Kathy didn't tell you is she hates public speaking, and that I'm a big mean meanie for making her get up here and, and, and talk. So, um, but she did a great job, right? Let's give her another hand. All right. Woo, Kathy! So now I'm going to show you her slides because she didn't want to show the slides while she was talking. Um, possibly show you the slides if they would start advancing, but they don't want to advance now. There we go. So it is so good to be back together. And these are some pictures from yesterday. We had our great panel of speakers. We have our families here. Uh, our, oh, you see a lot of our LGS kids sleeping. We had one sleeping on the floor back there. I wanted to go curl up next to her and take a nap. If you have not uh, had Brian run up to you in your face and stare meaningfully into your eyes yet, like the bottom picture down there of him, um, it's the, the bottom uh, second from the, your right, <clears throat> then you're missing out. He, I'm sure it will happen soon. Um, our sibs are having way more fun. You can see there's a picture of us sitting in here and then our siblings are right next to us holding their paintings from yesterday. So. And then, of course, the butterfly release was awesome. But keep posting your pictures online. They're just fabulous. Um, we're having a great time. I'm going to show you some of the slides. Again, they're not advancing. There we go. Um, so we have all our fantastic exhibitors. Thank you guys for being here. And it, it looks like you guys are out there speaking to them. But we brought the people to you so you can learn. So please check out all of the tables. Our activity and quiet room are open, so make sure if you'd like to go in there, if you just need a break, the quiet room and the activity room is for our, our LGS uh, kids and, and siblings if they just need a break and wanna play. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some things and I'm actually gonna fly through this pretty quickly and you can come and ask me after, but things you should know about, about the foundation and the things that we do. The first is our newsletter. If you haven't signed up, please go to lgsfoundation.org and you can sign up for our newsletter and, and learn all about the work we're doing. We have a patient assistance program for our families where we offer up to $1,500 as a lifetime max to help buy durable medical equipment. And our cycle is open. You guys can sign up for that. Um, it's also on our website. As Kathy mentioned, we have our support groups. We have three support groups now, our dad's group, our caregiver de-stress fest, and our caregivers of adults um, with LGS. And we're looking to start one for the newly diagnosed um, and looking for volunteers that might be help, um, interested in helping us lead that. We also have an online support community of over 6,000 members. We have, a US we have a global community, we have a Canadian community, we have a community in the UK, we also have communities in every state in the US, or nearly every state, so you can get connected and supported. But in addition to that, we have our Patient Navigator and Family Ambassador Program. Our Patient Navigator Program is new. Um, our Family Ambassador Program has been around for a long time. And our Family Ambassadors are really here to meet and greet you and meet you where you're at and answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. They can answer regional questions based on where you live or specific questions. And then our Patient Navigators, like I said, which is kicking off in about a month, is uh, more focused on topics. If you want to learn more about the corpus callosotomy, we'll match you with a patient a family that's been through that. And that, that's true for any treatment or any topic, so we're building that. 
We also have our sibling program. If you haven't gotten your VIP sib kit yet for your siblings, you can check it out at the sibling table out there. Um, we partnered with Zogenix, uh, um, which is now part of UCB and a bunch of other advocacy groups to come up with a special kit just for siblings. You can sign up and have that mailed to you as well. And then online we have our Learning and Resource Center, which is also on the LGS Foundation website. Um, which goes into a lot of topics like seizures and safety, finding a doctor, videos of the different seizure types, um, treatments in LGS, the new treatments. And, um, you know, LGS is tough, but finding information shouldn't be. And so we try to make that easy as we build out our LRC. If you have any ideas for it, let us know. We also have volunteer programs. We talked a little bit about this yesterday, but we have our advocates for LGS, which are just getting started as we start to make a difference in legislation. And this is run by our good friend and, and our um, Director of Family Support Services, Jen Griffin, who couldn't be here today because she has COVID, but she's watching from home with everybody. Hi, Jen. Um, and she is definitely looking for more people to be a part of this. There's also a breakfast table tomorrow if you want to meet. Um, we have one of our, our volunteer advocates that will be at the breakfast table to talk about this program. We do fund research grants for our scientists, and we talked a little bit about the research that we fund. Um, and so we raise money and fund uh, up to $75,000 grants. And we also convene our scientists. And coming up in 2023, we're having our next uh, LGS research meeting of the minds. The first one, which was last year, was on finding uh, disease-modifying therapies and cures for LGS. This one will be on finding the best treatment and care. So that's coming up in September of 23. And then I just want to mention a few events that are coming up between now and the end of the year. We've got a lot going on. Um, the first is if, you, if you've met with the Epilepsy Awareness Day at Disneyland people, they are here, they have a table. We're having our uh, Halloween costume dance party at Disneyland Day on, on um, October 31st. Disneyland um, Day has a big expo, so that's huge. Um, but we also have um, upcoming our Swing for a Cure Golf event. One of our amazing board members is hosting. This is in uh, Dublin, Ohio. So if any of you guys play golf or know anybody, we, all of this money ends up going to fund our research programs and our support programs for the families. LGS Awareness Day is a big deal for us. That is on November 1st, and we are going to be giving out kits this year to light up your home, illuminate for LGS, in addition to the dance party. And then we're having a, an event on November 5th in San Diego, a big dinner event at the aquarium there. So it's a big day for us, and we do a global awareness event across the whole world to tell everybody what it's like living with LGS. Looking ahead to next year, we have our walk and wheel. Um, we, we had our walk this year, and we raised nearly $50,000 to go to research, which was awesome. And so we're looking to, I know, right? And that was all you guys. That was all you um, raising that money, getting out there and walking with our kids. It's a walk where you're at. Um, and next year, we're hoping to be back together in person. But our next year one will be in May. We already have the date set. Look at how organized we are. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> Uh, on May 26th. We also have our LGS store online and this money also goes to our research and programs and if you guys shop Amazon at all and you want to designate LGS Foundation as your charity of choice on, LG, um, on Amazon Smile, we do get a big chunk of money from them which goes to our programs as well. You just go to Amazon Smile and type us in as your charity and there's instructions online for this. Just one reminder as I wrap up here to continue to wear your mask for the safety of our LGS loved ones here. They are the most vulnerable population, so keep your hands clean, wear your mask when you're in the LGS spaces, and let's just be respectful of our, of our families. And then I just wanted to thank all of you again for being here. We're having a great time. I'm having a great time. We're already behind this morning, so I'm talking a mile a minute, but I don't care because <laughs> I'm here with my community and we're having fun. So. So with that, let's get us started. Oh, and Blue Star, you already got the memo, so make sure you guys go get your gifts at uh, the table.